In this lesson, you will learn how to manipulate salt dough into a 3D Kandinsky art style relief. It is essential that before you begin making the art piece that you have watched my previous YouTube video called The Best Salt Dough and How to Make It. Once you have prepared your salt dough, then you are ready to begin part two of this making process. The basic materials you'll need for this activity are your pre-prepared salt dough, a ruler or straight edge for making line marks, a collection of different circle sized objects, for example different sized pen lids, some acrylic paint and some small to medium sized paint brushes. If you want to make a glazed finish at the end, this can be done with a coat of PVA glue or Mod Podge. You will also need a small to medium sized plastic bowl to use to cut out the circular shape. To begin, add a little flour to the surface of your table and roll it in. Roll out to an even thickness that you want. Mine is about one centimeter thick here. Next, take a small, ideally plastic bowl and cut out a circle shape and remove the scraps of dough that you don't need. Please note the scraps of dough can be made into extra bonus creations later on if you have the time. When happy with the thickness of your dough, pick it up and transport it onto a separate tray. Next, let's take an influence from Kandinsky's artwork composition, Yellow, Red, Blue, 1925, and create a series of marks and impressions similar to the artist's work. Here, I have pressed in a straight edge to create lines, scored wavy lines with a craft knife. However, younger children may wish to use a plastic knife for extra safety. I also used the back of a paintbrush to create indents and a small scoop to create a round circular indent. Please note that your design does not have to copy exactly how I made mine. As long as the marks you make resemble the similar marks to the artist's work, then that will be fine. Once happy with your shape, you will need to let it air dry for at least three days before you come to paint it. Please resist the urge to move or cut the dough as at this stage it is still wet. A few days later, when you notice the shape has hardened and turned lighter in colour, you will be able to paint it. You should work with thick acrylic paints or poster paints for a brighter colour result and a very small paintbrush to keep your marks looking neat and tidy.